Welcome back to Marcus at Work Media. So your boy Diddy got some more hits to his reputation, brand, and his money. Now the fans ain't even got to all the fines and all the stuff that they're going to tack on giving them a large bill. But in the meantime, while they work on that, you got a few brands that have been dropping him left and right. So Diddy has been dropped by another company after a major eyewear retailer ditched the Sean John frames due to his legal issue. America's best contacts in eyewear have severed ties with the disgraced bad boy records boss per TMZ. A new report from the outlet reveals stores were instructed to remove all Diddy merchandise from their shelves last Tuesday, May 21st. Diddy Sean John's frames was also absent from the website. Go figure. The company reportedly axed the frames from their online platform last month. The eyewear brand did not specifically say why they pulled the frames exactly. It coincidentally happened two days after Didi's fake apology video. At this point, Didi just turn yourself in because a sixth person has come forward with SA allegations against sh And this was six months ago, baby. This is well in the statute of limitations. Come on and bring your ass back. Crystal McKinney is a 22-year-old aspiring model who met Diddy at a restaurant. And she was feeling safe with him. And he asked her to come to a studio with him. And things didn't go the way she thought they would go. So Crystal McKinney alleges that she met Diddy during fashion week. The designer that invited her to dinner at the Capri downtown during Men's Fashion Week dressed her up to Diddy's liking, like serving her on a platter. Did they have something going on? Because I feel like the designer needs to be talked to as well. And I quote, once seated, Combs made very public display of coming on the plaintiff in a SA actual suggestive manner, which continued throughout dinner. The filing states throughout their interactions, Combs was very flirtatious, bordering on leering. As he leaned across the table towards her, Combs also piled the plaintiff with alcohol throughout the night. Now, after having several drinks with Diddy, which he insisted, he asked Crystal to go to the studio with him. And she said, hey, this is gonna be a professional setting, which she has never been in the studio before. Um. And, you know, I feel safe. I don't think nothing will happen to me if I go to the studio with him. Wrong. Now, once they got to the studio, Diddy was handing out party favors. And there were beautiful trees. And those trees were very, very heavy. And Miss Miss Thing felt like those trees were, you know, had a little extra something in them. Okay? To the point where she felt like she was... Uh, floating in the air as what she would state it. So Diddy helped her to the bathroom. Now, while in the bathroom, Crystal alleges that Diddy began kissing her without her consent. Then he lowered her head below his extremities and told her to S-U-C-K it. And she refused, but he continued to force it on her. By the time she woke up, she was in a cab heading back to the designer. I'm gonna need this lawsuit to include this designer. I'm not even playing because it sounds like this was a setup. It sounds like, hey, I do you a favor, you do me a favor. This sounds like some real entrapment kind of stuff. Did he just turn yourself in? Because baby, this was in 2003. I'm sorry, it wasn't six months ago. It was filed six months ago, but it was in 2003. Last week, Peloton, you know, the fancy um, exercise bike, they reveal it stopped using his music on their bikes. The exercise company made a move following concerns from patrons. The company informed all of its customers to pause the use of all Diddy music. Well, it's getting a little rough out here for you, boy Diddy. Uh, we just now still getting started with all of these legal allegations and court proceedings. The feds still ain't even arrested the man. But video footage is coming out with Cassie and other people are alleging other things on top of that. It just gets worse and worse and worse for your boy. And guess what? Take that, take that, take that. You deserve all of that and more.
in my opinion. Put your thoughts below. Let's talk about it. What do you make of all of this? Are they going too hard on your boy Diddy? Or, yeah, this is about the right speed. Put your thoughts below. Let's talk about it. This is Marcus at Work Media, and I'm out this bitch. <laughs>